This video is brought to you by thepuzzler.com. Number 21 from the 10A. We have a bowl that's formed by attaching four regular hexagons of side 1 to the square of side 1. The edges of adjacent hexagons can side, as shown in the figure. What is the area of the octagon obtained by joining the top eight vertices of the four hexagons situated on the rim of the bowl? Okay, so this problem, probably a bit hard to visualize, uh, but the key insight that we have is that if we were to extend this line, so extend this line of the hexagon, and then extend this line of the hexagon, what we basically constructed is an equilateral triangle like this. It's just basically we're extending that face of the hexagon so that we have something like this. And we know this is one, this is one, this is one, because it's 60 degrees. Everything is 60 degrees. And this last one is 60 degrees. And we can do the same thing with the hexagon on the right side. So it's all just this is one, this is one. So once you do that on all four corners, you get something like this. So that's probably like the hard part, conver converting it from 3D into 2D. So now I know this is one, this is one, this is one. And then what we just figured out is that these faces, these triangles that we just constructed are right triangles with side lengths of one. And the reason we know they're right is because if we were to extend all of them, we've created a square, something like this, roughly. So we have the square right here, and it's not too hard to find the area of this um, octagon now. So the total area of the square is 3 times 3, which equals 9. And the area of each right triangle is 1 times 1 over 2, which is 1 half. And we have 4 of them. So 1 half times 4 equals 2. So we need to do 9 minus 2, which equals 7, the area of this octagon. And we're done. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked or enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a like and subscribe to our channel. For more amazing content, you can check out thepuzzler.com.